Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask in the world. Today we are looking at N95, specifically made in America. Pretty cool, huh? Join me on this journey for the uh, Indiana face mask. That's right, Indiana face mask. Let's put it in the clamper and then we will talk about this. Really cool that all of these are individually packed. We'll get to that in just a second, but I, that's kind of awesome. So I, I haven't seen that with any uh, face mask except for 3M does that with their 3M Aura. All right, so uh, this is different than we've done with our surgical masks. We had to create this special setup here. Um, this is not how NIOSH would do uh, a test. They use um, a very efficient but uh, long process of applying beeswax around the edge of an N95 for the testing. This is a lot faster but it, it does get approximately the same results. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you wanna find out more about this setup and how it differs from our surgical mass tests, check out that link. At least I hope it appears there. All right, um, one of the things we wanna look at right away uh, is this airflow resistance, okay? That number just popped through there. Uh, about a hundred and, ooh, actually, wow. I think that's a record, 101. That's better than our surgical masks and it's an N95. Like, that's incredible. That's incredible. And actually, wait, it just went under 100, 98, 97. That's incredible. We'll wait to really look at the, uh, the uh, mask efficiency, but I'm pretty excited about this mask. Um, all right, let's uh, look back at the, at the box here. Uh, you know, Indiana Face Mask, I, IFM, uh, is, uh, you know, I don't, Love their box. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be real honest with you. American made, beautiful mask. The box is not a soft touch and it needs to be. So I've actually talked to them. I said, I'll pay extra for this mask if you can make me a soft touch. And so they're actually looking into it. Um, I just don't think it represents very well what, uh, the awesomeness that awaits you when you open this thing up, right? You open this up and you've got 25 individually packed masks, which is great because you're on the go, you put that in your back pocket, you put it in your boot, what have you, uh, you're in a good spot. I, I love that they do this. So what a cool, what a cool thing. And not cheap to do that, by the way, either. So um, they're very, very, very cool for them to see that. Now, these guys are awesome. Like if you, uh, if you look at their backstory, so I think they were making pool filters and other types of filtration. Uh, and just before the pandemic, uh, they were about to expand into another business unit. Um, and they had like 100,000 square foot space ready to go. And the son is a family owned business, 20, 30 years, a lot of, a lot of similar stories you hear like this. Um, and they've been making spun bun and I think melt blown, which is the material that is in a mask. But they've been making that for like 20 years, so they really knew it well. And the son said, we need to make masks. We need to not go into this new business. We need to make masks. So cool. And they just knocked it out of the park. I heard a rumor uh, I don't know if you know this, but we, we've been working on our N95 mask for, um, for about nine months now, uh, trying to get it through the NASH process. And I heard a rumor they got through their process in 17 days because that's how good these guys are at what they do. They have an advantage though. They've been doing this stuff for a really long time. Um, all right, so let's uh, take a look at the, uh, the mask itself here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And I know, I know. People are going to, don't email me. Don't at me. Don't at me, bro. I'm not putting it on correctly. It's on my face, okay? <laughs> all right, so put it on. So this actually does have a tiny bit of a cardboard smell. Of all the masks that I tested uh, that are American made, for whatever reason, have like no smell. This has a tiny bit of a cardboard smell, which is you know, not that terrible, really. Um, the, uh, it's a good fit. I'm getting a great seal. You can tell by the muffledness of my voice. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good mask. Look at the head straps there. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's pretty good. The thing about N95 is you need that strap, right? To, uh, to give you that seal, right? And so it's important to look at, these are sonically welded on here. Look at the welds on there. That's good, that's good. If this comes off, that's not gonna give you a good seal. So it's very important that it's nice and tight. That's good, that's good. Okay, and in fact, little in fact, if you go to the manufacturer and you have a broken head strap, they will replace it. So that's part of the NIOSH guarantee. All right, 
Uh, good mask, uh, great company, great background story. I love the story. Uh, super efficient manufacturer. They're, they're outputting vertically integrated. They make all the fabrics under one roof. Whoa! A new record. Wow, that is super impressive. So remember, under 100 pascals of breathability. 99.926, 99.926. That's insane. That is insane. It's that it's three layers of milk load that's doing so well. That's a record. You got to give it. I mean, I got it. Clayton and the ladies and gentlemen at uh, Indiana Face Mask, I got to give that to you. You don't have a soft touch box, but that is a damn good mask. Wow. Love being excited. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We're testing a bunch of American-made uh, N95s here. And the reason for that is we're actually, we're putting them on our website. Uh, we're partnering with a lot of these manufacturers uh, that, you know, un unlike me who invested in a lab and a marketing team and, uh, you know, who, who had that sort of background, uh, a lot of these manufacturers are just really great at making stuff. And they, they, they're not great at marketing. And so I, I've decided while we're waiting for our NIOSH approval, we're going to put them on our website. So you can actually go to our website, armbreast.com. You can buy this mask if you want. Shameless plug. I know. Look, it's not even a real lab coat. It's all pageantry. I want to tell you. Machine's real. I'm not, though. What is real? Anyways. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate you hanging out with me. I uh, hope you liked the test. <laughs> hope you were as blown away as I am. And, uh, you know, I will catch you guys on the next test. We're going we're gonna to mix it up a bit. We're going to uh, go 3M. So, so join me on that one. Thanks so much.